Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. So in last episode, we have seen control flow statement. I mean, how do we write at the rate if and at the rate for if else, at the rate for loop in the HTML template, just like how do we write if else uh, or for loop in the programming, same like that you can use if and else and for loop in the HTML template also. Now, in this episode, we are going to see signal. So from Angular 17, like, uh, or Angular 18, Angular team is moving towards the zoneless Angular application, means they are trying to get rid of the zone.js, which um, basically uh, detect the changes and our application get rendered again, right? So they are trying to go with zoneless. And from Angular 19, they have experimental support for the zoneless application also. So the major thing when we talk about zoneless, like uh, once we change any variable value, UI will display the updated variable value. That is because of zone.js. So zone.js will continuously check for the changes. Once the variable value changes, it will update the UI. But if you disable the zone uh, automatic change detection, signal can still detect the change detection. Means updated value signal can still read. So that is the major advantage what we have in signal. From now on, like in coming version, signal is going to be very much useful. Like input are also signal now. So many things are uh, coming with, coming up with signal. Fine. So in this episode, we are going to see the basic things about the signal, like what is signal, how to create signal, how to access signal, how to update the signal value. Now, what is signal? So signal is just like a variable. How do we create the variable or the state? Just like that, we can create a variable or state, but it will be formed in the signal. Just like RxJS, how do we create, how we used to create the observable? A similar way to that will be a signal, fine. So what I have done, I have created this component and I have created this route and in the nav bar, I have added the uh, link for the signal. Fine. Now let's start with the signal. Let's open it side by side. Now, how do we create the signal? So let me just show you the basic creation of the signal. Let's say I want to store first name is equal to what I will be doing signal data type. You can first we will go with the directly. So here you can just provide, let's say my name I'm assigning. This is very basic signal. How do we create the signal? So your signal name equal to signal. So signal you can say input is coming from the angular slash core and whatever the initialized value you need to assign. Just like the variable, but inside this, uh, this is signal instead of a normal variable. This is the signal and this is the default value. Fine. Now, just like how we create the variable in uh, variable and prove we can provide the data type just like that here also we can do. So let's say last name is equal to signal and you can provide the data type also let's say string. So strongly type signal also you can create like this. My surname. Fine. So this is how you create a normal signal without data type. And this is where with a strongly type data type, you can create the signal. Fine. Now, how do we access the signal? So signals are accessed by as a method. So this is a HTML component. Let's get the P tag. Now in P tag, let's say I want to access the signal. So how do we access as a method? See, if I'm accessing like this, we will get the error. See something it is like showing like the signal and chetan value but we need just the value so we access like as a method so now if you see we get the value got it so how do we access the signal as a method let me just zoom a little bit fine so this is how you access the signal same in dot ts also let's create a constructor in constructor, let's create a normal constant variable value. How do we access the signal? So this dot first name as a method like this. How we access over here? Just like that, we access the signal in dot ts also. Let's print the another one also. Let's say instead of over here, I, I want to pass the signal to my property binding value. I can still do the same thing. 
whatever things you used to do with normal variables, same thing you can do with signal also. Now over here, last name I will access as a method. So see, text box will render with the signal value. So how, for now just consider, signal is just a replacement of how do you create the variable. Just like that you will be creating a signal. Okay, now coming to the change, actual change. Now I am disabling the change detection. Change detection on change detection strategy dot on push. So what I have done by this, I have disabled the change detection. Fine. Now let's create a normal variable. Let's say post name data type string is equal to by default I'm assigning angular. Fine. Let's print this also. Now what I will do, I will create a button. Plus btn btn success. Sorry. Here I will say change course name. So what I have done, I have created a normal variable. First I have disabled the chain detection. Okay. Just uh, like this in the component decorator, we can disable the chain detection for this particular component. Then I have created a normal variable with string data type and I have provided a value angular. This variable I have printed it over here also. Now we have a button. Now on click of this button, what I need to do, I need to call a function, click or instead of button, let's uh, in the constructor, I will add a set timeout. And inside timeout after let's say five seconds, I will change the variable value. This dot course name is equal to I will say react JS. Fine. So let's just assume. So see here what, I, what value we have got angular after five seconds it should change. Let me open the console and let's add a debugger in set timeout. I wanted to showcase like if variable value is getting changed or not. One more thing, remember we have disabled the chain detection. Okay. Let's reload. So after five seconds, our set timeout will execute. See, currently what variable value we have? Angular. Once this line execute, see variable value got changed. But if you see UI is not reflecting new value. Why? Because we have disabled the chain detection. Variable value got changed, but it is not displaying the updated value. Why? because we have disabled the chain detection. If I remove this and let's try it now. Now it will work the same how we used to know. So see, once variable value got changed, it is displaying the updated value because chain detection is on. Fine. Now, if in the set timeout, I will change the uh, signal value. So this dot, first name. Now, how do we change the signal value? So this dot first name, we have set method and we can pass by default it is Chetan. So I will add Rahul now. Fine. So still my chain detection is disabled. Okay. So just see now. So now you can see we got, we get the latest value and here also we got the latest value means when we have disabled the chain detection and if we change the normal variable value ui won't re reflect the new value but if we change the signal ui will reflect the new value means whenever whenever any signal value get changed ui will get to know so whatever chain detection was happening because of zone.js that thing we don't need in case of signal whenever signal value get changed ui will automatically fetch the new value so that is the advantage of signal fine so we have seen how to create a signal what is signal how to access a signal and how to update the signal also so set is a method how do we update the signal value one more way is there let me create roll number data type uh, sorry equal to signal number and by default i'm assigning zero value over here let's print this signal value also paragraph let's use this roll number over here now what i need to do i will create a function to increment
on increment let's create this method so over here we need to update the roll number value roll number is our signal so we have either we can use uh, how do we update the signal either we can use the set method or we have update method also so in update what we get we can get the original value and the we can update it so see the syntax value and new value you can update so let's say value or instead of value we will say old value arrow function and here you can say old value plus one so let's check so once we increment so see by default we have zero once i click see value is getting updated so either you can make use of the set method or you can update the signal value using update also so this is everything basic what you should know about the signal again you can store number boolean object or everything will work the same okay nothing will change fine so this is the very basic idea about the signal again so many things are in the signal like how when we create the input we can uh, convert our normal input into signal also so it will be more reactive fine so once we see the input then uh, again i will be explaining like how do we create the input with the signal fine one more thing if you are new please do like subscribe and please do join my whatsapp channel also that's it thank you